I'm Gail Hollowell. I'm a visual artist and my studio is in Winnipeg Beach, Manitoba, along the shores of lovely Lake Winnipeg. <laughs> Started as a hobbyist, I joined Gimli Art Club and took every workshop I could that was available to me without driving all the way to the University of Manitoba, where I'd spent a long time taking courses and finished my master's degree and said, okay, that's out of the way, now I can do this. Frankly, it wasn't until I took the first art of managing your career that I started to get serious. That opportunity to uh, spend time with somebody who was a professional artist, who had spent their life doing that, and to then discuss with others and picture myself doing that, I wouldn't be where I am now if I hadn't have taken that course, certainly. And it was the combination, one or the other might not have done it, but the three things were setting goals and, and having, to, having to go through the process of goal setting, which forces a person to envision themselves doing that in the future. And so that visioning process, which is all about who you are and what's inside and what you want to say, that's, that's part of the goal setting and part of the, uh, of the art of managing your career, of course. Um, and then the third thing is actually looking at the hard facts of doing this, the finances, the legal aspects, the budgetary aspects, the, the grant writing, or all of those sort of um, scientific aspects. And I think it's important that our whole um, arts uh, industry in Manitoba has a lot of, a lot of uh, access opportunities for people. I think we would be doing a disservice. There's that whole law of equifinality. People come to the place in their lives from many different points, right? And so, so uh, while the art of, the, of managing your career was a springboard for me, uh, you know, I see it from a visual artist point of view. I'm sure that from all performing arts and all kinds of other arts point of views, they also would uh, agree that that rich environment is really important. I had no idea about arts business, and it is very different. So courses and programs, um, the, the ones that I've been connected to that are related specifically to, to artists, and in those groups, it's not, it's not all visual artists. There's a lot of, there's a whole variety of creative uh, industries that people are engaged in in different ways. And I think it made me a better artist. Like, I think my work improved as a result of that. That's different. The majority of my work speaks to, speaks to the lake and, um, and what, what the lake can be and, and sometimes what it is. And, and in some ways, it's even in its vulnerability, it is beautiful. Well, I like to say that I have lake water in my blood. I've spent a, a lifetime either on shore or afloat on a boat uh, on the lake and that's one of the things that drives my creative expression. We'd be out on the boat and I would say to my husband, wow I, want, I wish I could paint that, I wish I could paint that. And so here I am now doing that. Why am I passionate about it for uh, the local area, the lake itself, I think. I think I can add to that. I think I can make a difference. I can, I can make a difference to um, how people see the lake. I can make a difference to the life in my own community. This is, this is my time to be able to do this. So it's, it's, I, I just love the way it's coming.